guys welcome back to another just jewelry just sold video I am getting ready to ship out this beautiful bangle when I fished this out of a jewelry jar it so reminded me of something Kate Spade she's that was definitely one of her trademarks in the style design is the bow this one is a little bit more elaborate than things we would see on the Kate Spade items but it's very well made very heavy I did have it priced a little heavier but it did not sell so I reduced it to ten dollars and it sold and that garnered me about a seven dollar profit I love it it looks really pretty on and I wish I would have gotten more money but I didn't and I'm not in the business of just hoarding and hoarding more and more jewelry granted if it would have been a Kate Spade or another name on it I may have held on to it for a little bit longer but I'm at a point right now where I am getting overwhelmed with some of the jewelry I am putting th together ensembles. I am putting together lots. I haven't listed lots of lots. <laughs> That's a mouthful, isn't it? I haven't listed too many lots yet, but I am get gathering them. And uh, some of my subscribers have inquired about them, and I've sold them to them. But um, other than that, seriously reduce prices, and that's what I'm doing. I uh, I could easily go long tail on these, but I, if I keep going long tail on every single thing and holding out for, you know, 15 or $20, I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna absolutely drown in jewelry. So I'd rather someone enjoy it, get a good deal on it. I still made tons of money on it because I only paid about a quarter, maybe a dime for it. So there it goes. So this time I sold this beautiful sterling silver vintage pendant. It is a zodiac sign. It is the zodiac sign for Virgo. It's very pretty with diamond cuts on it. And it is hallmarked there at the back, 925. And I bought this in a handful of charms from Elizabeth over at Makeup Zombie. She has a channel here. And she does a Sunday showcase sale. It is not an auction. It is a sale. And I believe she sold me these, I think it was a handful of charms. I don't even remember. Maybe three or four for about $10, 10 to $15. Now I did put a chain on it and I got the chain from Sandy at Just Sandy. She does a auction sale as well on Fridays and I got a really good deal on some box chains from her one night. So I've been using them to move the pendants. I really think that it's easier to sell a pendant when it's already got a nice pretty chain on it. So that sold for $25 on Poshmark and that will go in one of my velvet pouches and then in another nice big secure box. When I, whenever I sell on Posh, I'm not um, conservative at all with the shipping because they do cover the shipping up to $6.50. So I take advantage of that with that two-day priority label and put it in a big secure box from now on because I have had some issues with theft in the past from the P.O. boxes. So I kind of take a little bit more of a precaution with that now. And then here's some really pretty earrings that came from, again, that wonderful packaged uh, craft box or it was well it was like sorted out it was but nothing but earrings mostly clip-ons and these are definitely vintage gold tone they are clip-on oh, cost me I think we figured out about 50 to 60 cents each there were about 30 or 40 pairs of earrings and I've only scratched the surface on that box so I'm doing pretty well I have been able to sell many for well over $20 this is a really nice pair of genuine pearls, and I think that is onyx. There it is, sterling silver. I polished it up a little bit. These came out of a jewelry jar. They were blackened for sure. They didn't have any backs, and I put the backs on them, and I polished them a little bit and um, tested for sterling. They are positively sterling. I do not see a mark on them, but uh, they're super pretty. I think they're beautiful. One of my subscribers thought so too, so I sold them to her when she inquired about them i sold them to her for 21 dollars with free shipping again i do not do sales i do not do auctions i don't do any of that on my channel but if you ever see anything that you like in my hauls please feel free to ask me about it and we can talk about it in an email I got from swag me polished with star motifs kind of open work there and there's a little bit of a I don't know if it's shining through, but it kind of looks a little brassy on the inside. So it kind of brings out the little design. It looks a little bit like a shadow box effect. I really like it. I really like the shape of it as well. It was an oval shape, and I mentioned that when I did the unboxing. Well, one of my subscribers really liked it and asked to buy it. 
her for $13 plus, um, yeah, $13 with free shipping. So that's another thing that sold was this retired James Avery bracelet. It did come out of a jewelry jar and the average prices I'm seeing them for is around $50, $55, $59, some even as high as $90. It is a retired piece, but you know, I always keep in mind what my husband told me once when we were looking at some comps on some games, some video games, and I wanted to, to sell it. And I said, oh my goodness, I think I undersold it. I had put it at like $35, and a lot of people were selling theirs for 50, 50 and above. And he said, yeah, but they are still sitting there, not sold. And uh, you're sold. <laughs> So that's kind of the way I have to keep looking at things is that I'm not in the business of holding on to it forever. I do want to quickly flip the items and buy more things and make more profit. I don't certainly want to, you know, bring down the price by low lowering its value in any way, but I think just remaining competitively is a good thing, especially with things as prolific as some of the James Avery pieces can be. This is a retired piece, but there are plenty of them out there. They really are. So I let this one go at $39, and I think I did free shipping, $39 or $41 or something like that. So she got a really good deal on it. I got a really good deal because I put, did fish that out of a jewelry jar. So that was just great. So that's another beautiful James Avery going out to a subscriber who inquired when she saw me haul it. And as I've said many times before, you will not see me do auctions here or any kind of a sale. But if if you ever see anything in a haul that you're interested in, just email me. Hey guys, another really pretty bracelet that sold was this one. Here is the James Avery silver bangle and I wore it for the last time today. I'd actually bought it for myself on, um, I'd actually bought it for myself on Poshmark, but as I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So it's really pretty. I like it a lot. I did buy it for $60 on Poshmark and I sold it for $75 on Macari. Free shipping on Macari. So I pretty much broke even there. And uh, again, it's only because I couldn't wear it because I really did like it. But if I didn't wear it with another lightweight bangle, it would slide right off of me. Let's take a closer look. I really like it. It's a, one of the classic designs from James Avery. They have several with different Bible quotes and it's a very beautifully made very heavy but again I'm only selling it because it was too big for me so someone will be happy to get that all right guys on to another sale this was actually a bundle that someone put together people love putting together bundles on posh because they can save on the shipping and they usually make you an offer for a lower price you don't have to take it you do not have to take it but it's good that you do at least reduce it by 10% if you can. And they're already going to save anyway on the shipping. This was a fabulous bib style necklace that was sort of a green, kind of a fern green color, silver tone setting, very lightweight. It is made of plastic, but extremely statement piece for sure. Beautiful piece. These are some earrings that were also taken out of that sorted, uh, pre-sorted bulk buy that I made at Goodwill. There must have been, I don't even know how many earrings were in there, but I think I calculated that each piece cost me about 30 cents. So probably 25 to 30 cents. So it's always been a pretty good money maker there and I haven't even scratched the surface on it. Here's a really pretty necklace that I fished out of a jewelry jar. This was an extremely long piece. It probably, gosh, I don't know, maybe 36 inches or so. And, uh, probably more than that maybe something like 40 but anyway I could you could actually twist it around your neck like three times and it had an amazing amazing color combination there are lots of pinks and greens and just wonderful hues really pretty piece very heavy too here is another bundle this one sold for 40 the prior one that I just showed you sold for 45 I don't know if I mentioned it but this one sold for 40 and this was only two pieces and this was a very pretty piece and this is when i started talking about putting ensembles together and how i thought i could move the jewelry better that way because it complements each other and it's just a good way to give someone a better deal they feel like they're really getting a deal you're moving your jewelry and you're showing them how to wear it as well this was an elaborate piece very 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 pretty the one with the heart was by chloe i think it's a lesser 
fusion of their uh, brand, the designer Chloe. And I don't recall what designer this one was or if it was even branded. It really reminded me of something like a Betsy Johnson, but I don't think it was. And um, so her bundle included two pieces, but the ensemble already had two pieces. The second piece that she added to her bundle were these vintage Whiting and Davis earrings. These were absolutely beautiful, kind of a 3D effect there with some fringe and a beautiful gold tone. And um, those were also taken out of that particular box that had a whole bunch of all they were mostly earrings i think they were 99 percent earrings and most of them or all of them were clip-ons okay another quick little show and tell on what sold in jewelry was this beautiful pendant this is amber and it's i love the modernist sort of setting that it has it's very pretty it is hallmarked and has a beautiful large bale I bought this at uh, Elizabeth Showcase, a Sunday showcase that she has here on YouTube, and that's Elizabeth Makeup Zombie, if you, if you don't know who I'm talking about. But um, I think I bought this for less than $3 because she was selling a handful of charms, sterling charms and pendants. Two of them were amber, and then I think there was a little map of Illinois, kind of a charm bracelet charm, and a few other things, a teddy bear and everything. So I think it was about seven or eight charms. All in all, it cost me probably less than $3 because I think the handful was about $20 for the whole thing. Now, it did not come with a chain. I added the chain, but these chains are pretty prolific. They do come in almost all the jewelry jars. I get pretty lucky and find a couple of, usually in the jewelry jars, I'll find one or two sterling chains. Sure. But I added that, and that sold for, I believe, $20 on Poshmark. I'm not sure, but I think one of my subscribers may have bought it because the name really looked familiar. And I didn't clean it up too much. I thought I would just leave that up to the buyer and kind of polish just the surface. But all in all, it's a beautiful piece. Another thing that went out, and that'll be packaged, of course, nice and securely going out through Poshmark. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Please come back again really soon. If you want to see more of these videos, please be sure and hit the thumbs up. And please be sure and hit the notifications because that will notify you when I go live or when a new video is uploaded. Thank you again for everything.